Hello, Yu-Gi-Oh! Dynasty! Hello, Yu-Gi-Oh! Community! It's your boy, Cheese! With the cheek, with the cheek, with the super E, baby! Come on, man! Alright, so Labyrinth players, welcome! Utopia players, welcome! You are about to witness the greatest duel in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel history! We got Labyrinth Tier 3 versus my Horus Utopia God Card deck, which is Tier 3 in strength. If you beat any meta deck, if you beat Axis 8, Sky Striker, Numeron, Stun, you name it, it can do it. It's the best, it's the greatest of all time. It is my deck. Come on now. So anyways, this same deck that I use, I was able to uh, get all the way to Plot 1, I think it was like two days ago. So I went all the way from Plot 5 to Plot 1 with this deck. Just had a little trouble getting it into Diamond Rank. But, you know, um... Progress makes perfect, but anyways, I don't want to talk until the the misplay. So uh, just enjoy the clip, enjoy the gameplay, and uh, have a blast. Alright, so here we are, we're at the misplay. So, I read, I read Chaos Angel's effect before I decided to do anything, right? I know he can't be destroyed by battle. I know all I have to do is summon Raw, activate Raw's effect because Chaos Angel cannot be destroyed by battle, but it's not unaffected by monster effects. Raw would have sent him to the graveyard, I would have won that game right there. Attack with 99, attack with Wing Dragon or Raw. But the geek in me was like, bro, every time I'm on rank, I end the duel with Slyther, I end the duel with Raw, I never end the duel with fucking Obelisk, and I'm like, I want to see Obelisk's animation, I want to beat the fuck out of this lever player and post the animation of Obelisk ending the duel with Fist of Fate, and then, uh, like a dumbass, I summon Obelisk the Tormentor, I get rid of my board advantage, because in a scenario like that, he had no traps, no nothing, right, so if I summon Raw, it would have been over, but like... I wanted so bad to see Obelisk effect. I outfought my um, like 
an actual like rank duelist mindset and just summon the card that is best gonna help me out in the situation that I'm in and win the fucking duel and then like I, okay so then now I'm like okay he has three cards on the field a spear mode him right now and make and make up for the mistake I made uh, last duel and then he activates the effect to set it into the fucking graveyard and then reset it back into his hand but I'm like, oh my god, this guy's not even trying to put three cards on the field anymore. So then, like, I'm still stalling, I'm still outing his Like, that game threw it away. So now, I'm stuck in a situation where I either need my horse card to help me win this duel, or I need uh, another soul crossing or something, right? And I draw three evenly matches. I'm like, what the fuck? So the reason why I'm showing um, the traps is because Obelisk can't be targeted with card effects. So I'm just showing the trap and then showing Obelisk so you guys can understand he can't be targeted with card effects. But then, like, he was able to destroy it with a fucking card effect. And then I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? So here we go. So I summon Raw. He summons this. He destroys Obelisk with a card effect. And I'm like, okay, because he can't be targeted unless the field spell just destroys a card on the field. Because I don't think the field spell targets, I think it just destroys a card on the field. Probably how it bypassed the effect. So he's now re -occurring. So at first I was like, okay, I can use Raw's ability to get rid of my two, those, those two cards, my Dodo -do and him. And then I can win. And then uh, he summoned more cards on the field, and I can't activate Raw's effect. And now he's chaining, and now he's cooking, and now he's steaming up. And now, bro, the man's got five cards left in his deck. 23 turns. Sold the fucking game. I'm like, please. I'm like, please special sub more, uh, like, two more times. But, like, it doesn't really make sense when he when he has game, right? So, that was a great duel. Um... I don't want people to think that, you know, I just post clips of me winning. Like, I post I post clips of hard-fought victories of me winning, which is good clips, good, good gameplay. But I thought, since I post a clip of me stomping fucking Labyrinth that got like 600 and something views, it's best to show a video that I did today of me losing the lab where I could've won. Don't get it twisted. I could've won, but I fucking geeked out and then like, let me summon Obelisk. Forgot I'm in Master Duel and I can't beat the car by battle, so I kind of cooked myself. But this is his deck. He's a great duelist. Um, good deck too. If you want to use it, you can. And you don't even need my permission to use it. So this is the deck that I was using. This is my Fallen of Gods deck. This is to get from Plat Five two days ago all the way to Plat One. I'm, I'm currently Plat Three rank. I D ranked by two ranks. It was a toxic stream yesterday. So uh, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and stay tuned into all the cool shit that I do, you know, in my streams and my rank climbs and my deck builds and stuff like that. I love the community. I love Yu-Gi-Oh. I love all three Egyptian gods. And uh, this is just a good video. It'll be hard for me to rewatch because I could have won the duel and I kind of threw it away. But uh, yeah, my deck is tier three in strength. It's got good recursion, draw power, negates, pops. God card tributes off like they're like that. Reoccursion and can survive 23 turns against the top meta decks in the game. So hit me up. I love you guys. I love the community. And I'll catch you guys later.